So over the past few years, my businesses and companies have generated multiple seven figures in online sales. And in today's video, I wanna share with you what I've learned about how to sell anything to anyone on the internet. So firstly, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is John Pemothy. I'm the founder of adclients.com and we help people create, launch and scale their businesses online. And I'm pleased that you're here. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification. I put out a couple new videos like this every single week where we talk about offers, funnels, traffic, everything you would need to launch and scale online. And in today's video, I wanna share with you what I've learned about how to sell something effectively to someone online. Now what this video isn't going to be about is like all the, the other stuff you see on YouTube, you know, sell me this pen and all these other Wolf of Wall Street remakes that people are doing and, and just kind of putting their own spin on it. You know, I, I want to share with you real world what has worked for me in my businesses. If you're new to the channel, I have a marketing education company and consultancy. We have a bunch of online courses that range anywhere from, you know, a hundred dollars up to a a couple thousand, we have higher ticket coaching that goes for 10,000, 15,000 and everything in between. And we've tried lots of different things to, to sell these. Different sales funnels, different traffic sources, different messaging. And there's one thing that has helped us no matter what product we're selling, no matter what price point we're selling at, and no matter what industry we're in, because we've taught this to many of our clients and they've had some pretty sensational results as well. And it's this thing that I call the mirror method. And it's, it's more of a strategy than it, than it is you know, an execution plan. This isn't telling you step by step how to build a funnel to convert someone. This is something that you would put into any funnel that you're using. This would be something that you would get hardwired into your brain to utilize when you're recording sales videos or you're recording advertisements or you're doing a webinar or you're thinking of a headline. You're gonna be using this thing that I call the mirror method now anywhere you can in your marketing. And so the concept of the mirror method is that you are describing as closely as you can how your ideal customer or client is feeling, what they're wanting, and uh, you know, and where they're wanting to go. And, and if you can pinpoint that, if you can describe accurately where they're at and get it as close to them looking in a mirror, right? They see an ad pop up from you or they're watching your webinar or they're in your funnel, it doesn't matter where they are in your process, if you can get them to a place where they say, this person really understands me, they really get me, right? I really feel like there is a mirror here and I'm just, I'm being described right now. If you can create that feeling, you will convert higher than any marketing trick or loophole or hidden traffic source ever will because this is the key to making marketing work, right? People need to feel understood. There has to be that level of connection. It's why in my industry with what we're doing, you know, selling education, selling information, it's not so much about the brand, although branding is important, all right? It's good to have a brand, right? I'm not saying it's not, but that stuff, just having a beautiful website with a great logo and you, oh, you've picked a great name, like all that stuff is wonderful, but that is not what's gonna land you clients. What's gonna land you clients is creating that feeling of emotional connection and them feeling understood. And me learning this has absolutely transformed my business. You know, we've gone from struggling to try and get our funnels off the ground, tr struggling to get traffic going. And I always thought for the longest time it was, it was the traffic that was the issue or it was the funnel that was the issue. And I've realized now it was the messaging and it wasn't creating this, this mirror method. So let me give you some examples of how this would work so that you can be, uh, well, you'll actually see me in action. If you ever see any of my ads moving forward, you'll recognize this, this technique now. You'll recognize this strategy. Let's say that I'm selling my YouTube ads course, okay? And I know that I'm gonna be selling this to people that have been trying to do Facebook ads and struggling. And they're wasting money on Facebook they are uh, not able to find creative that's working and they've kind of almost given up on Facebook. They feel like it's just, they, 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 they can't get it to work. So now I'm gonna come in with this solution that YouTube ads is something that they should try. So I'm gonna do a bunch of research beforehand. I'm gonna be thinking about my ideal client, I'm gonna, my customer, I'm gonna be thinking, what are the frustrations that they've had on Facebook? How can I describe exactly how they're feeling? You know, and, and I'm gonna have a page full of notes. And then when I shoot an ad, I'm gonna say something like this, you know, perhaps my ad will pop up 
and I'm gonna say, hey, just real quick, listen, if you have any business online that you're trying to get traffic for and you've heard this name Facebook and you know that that's the direction you were supposed to go and so you, you're trying to launch ads, but nothing seems to take off and that's if you even get to that point because if you're like me, it took me six months to even figure out how to launch a Facebook ad and when I eventually did, all it did was lose money. And furthermore, I didn't know what I'd done wrong. I was following training. I felt like I'd done it step by step. And so I got to the point where I'm literally pulling my hair out because I'm thinking, I don't know where to turn. I don't know how to do this any differently. And I'm spending, you know, literally sleepless nights in some cases. I'm up till three, four in the morning trying to figure this thing out, waking up my spouse. You know, I'm getting discouragement left, right and center. And, you know, perhaps you're in that position and you need to find a solution and you need to find a solution quickly. Well, I gravitated away from Facebook and, and was looking at the opportunity over on YouTube ads and it's absolutely changed the game for me and blah, 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 and then off I go, right? I've created something of the mirror method there. I have described the situation they're in. Now that, would have, that will be, not might be, that will be more powerful than if I just started an ad and said, hey, if you wanna learn about YouTube ads, if you wanna learn how to get some great traffic on the YouTube platform, it's a really great platform, come over, check it out. If I just talk up about YouTube, if I just talk about what they could be getting, that's not nearly as powerful as describing where they are right now and how they're feeling right now, okay? Another example would be this. Let's say you're in the weight loss industry. Rather than doing an ad or a video or some messaging where you just say, hey, just real quick, if you're looking to lose weight and you'd like to get some personal training, you know, uh, my name's Gary, I'm from the local gym and, you know, I'd love to be able to take you through this process. I'll give you a nutrition plan, I'll give you a workout plan, we'll meet once a week uh, and let's finally hit those goals, let's do this, right? You see a lot of ads like that or some rendition of that. Again, that's not gonna be nearly as powerful as doing an ad where I might say something like this. Let's say, um, let's say the, 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 the type of customer I wanna be going after with this video is someone who has had enough of the gym you know, they're really struggling to get the results that they, that, they, that they want just by following workout plans. And actually you're a nutritionist perhaps. So you're wanting to share that actually it's not, it's not about the workout, it's about the nutrition. And so I'm gonna think through what frustrations would they have, you know, to uh, working out, you know, in, in the gym and how can I transition into nutrition as the, as the solution? So perhaps I would do an ad where I say, um, hey, just real quick, if you've been trying to lose weight now for what feels like uh, months or even years and you don't feel any further forward. Perhaps every January comes by and you think this is the year I'm going to do this and you do actually stick to it for a few months, right? You try and eat the food you're supposed to eat. You go to the gym and you're working out but every time you step through that door and you pick up some equipment or you jump onto a machine, you have no idea how to use it. You've tried to follow some workout plans but nothing really makes sense. You're seeing those other ladies that come in and out of the gym every single day and you see week on week, month on month, they look like they're actually changing. They're transforming, they're looking better and you look down and you just feel so unconfident in your body because nothing is changing, nothing is working and you're back to square one feeling like you wanna give up. Listen, if that's you, I know that feeling because I was there and I was this and I was that and now there's this. Right, and I'm gonna go off and introduce the solution. But I've implemented the mirror method there just in that little snippet and that will work really, really well for an ad. So there's a couple of examples of how I use it uh, in the context of a video ad. Now listen, you can just take that and, and plug it into anything. If you're doing a webinar, perhaps you're gonna do a 10 or 15 minute introductory story in the webinar. You're gonna input the mirror method in there. Perhaps you're taking them through some training in the webinar. You're gonna implement the mirror method into the way that you teach. Um, if you're writing a headline, you're gonna, you're gonna put something in there about the pain points that they're experiencing right now so that you can relate to them right there in the headline. If you're writing copy for a sales page, you're gonna be using the mirror method. Stop talking about you, stop talking about what it is that you've got, start talking about them. Make them feel understood, that will lead them to a buying decision. So hopefully this quick training was helpful for you. If it was, do me a favor, hit the like button on this video and drop me a comment. I wanna hear from you. Did you find this helpful? Will you be implementing the mirror method moving forward in your marketing? And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification. We put out a couple new videos like this every single week. And finally, if you'd like to learn more about this type of stuff from me, you know, I've generated multiple seven figures online at this point, selling our online courses, our training, our coaching. If you have any business that you're trying to grow online, uh, click the link that's in the description box in the top comment. That'll take you through to register for one of our online trainings where you'll learn how we package up our offers, build our funnels, run our traffic, 
And at the end of that, you might even have the opportunity to speak to someone on my team about maybe getting some coaching from us. That's a conversation we can have later down the line. So do check out that training. I think you'll really like it and I'll see you in a future video.